This morning on Today Food, you give us 20 minutes, we'll give you the world. We're getting it together with celebrity chef Curtis Stone. His new restaurant, Gwen, opened this summer in L.A. So, Curtis, congratulations on the new restaurant. Thank you, mate. What are you making for us now? Uh, it's a pesto glazed chicken breast. Ooh. It's so simple. And I mm -hmm. thought I'd put you to work because okay. I've got a, the old fashioned mortar and pestle right. over here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to race you with the blender. So. <laughs> I think we know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> All you have to do is start just crunching okay. up. There's some garlic. You've got some garlic in there. Mm -hmm. We've got basil leaves, of course, beautiful fresh basil, okay. which is gorgeous in summer. So, I'm adding my garlic. Mm -hmm. And you just keep crushing away pine nuts, a little chili flake, that dry chili flake and just a little salt, right? So you throw all of that in to your food processor or your mortar and pestle. Some parmesan cheese, mm -hmm. and then a good amount of extra virgin olive oil, right? So you just pour that in. Come on, Al, work it. Bump and grind. Bend the knees a little. Get into it. You can do it. Bump and grind. Bump and grind, You don't want to see that. <laughs> That's it. So you can take the, uh, the fast way or the slow way. So I, I'm just adding olive oil through the top of my blender here. Now I add a little for you too, sir. It's a little messy, but the good thing about cooking with a mortar and pestle is it gives you a little workout, which mm -hmm. I, I really like. So once you've made your pesto... And it's more rustic looking. It's more rustic. And there's, it's, there's no problem with the few little okay. chunks that you've got left in there. So come up the front. All right. Once you've made your pesto, and of course if you want to use a store-bought one, you can. Um, I've got some salt and pepper. Good man. Uh, a nice hot pan. You want to get. You want to hear a sizzle when you put this mm -hmm. into your into your hot pan. We're cooking in just a little olive oil again. Right. And then season the other side. So we get um, a nice sear on our chicken breast. It will look like this in just a couple of minutes. If you wanted to, could you use like a boneless chicken thigh? Oh yeah, uh -huh. delicious. A, a, a really. A, a make sure it's skinless too, because right. what you're going to do is add the uh, the pesto, which will give you the richness that cheese and uh, pine nut is kind of going to set mm -hmm. together in the oven. Mm -hmm. So you just go ahead and cover that. That's good. Um, it's so simple. You throw it in the oven and just cook the chicken breast through. So okay. like 375 um, for about, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 12 15, minutes, minutes, 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. And then we get to the, sp the spaghetti. So right. I've got some spaghetti. I've got a little olive oil in here, some pine nuts. So we've cooked the spaghetti. Just cook the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. A little of the pasta water is good to just make an emulsion. Go ahead and dump that in, Al. Beautiful. Right, so the spaghetti goes in. Right. And if you need to loosen it up, like I said, just a little more of that pasta water. So you reserve some of that. Some more fresh basil, some parsley, a little parmesan cheese is nice. And then you just sort of toss that together and you get this beautiful sort of consistency. So it's, it's mm -hmm. really simple. So it, it kind of makes its own sauce in a way. It does, it really does. If you wanted to roast some uh, cherry tomatoes, that would be nice oh, with this yeah. too. Mm -hmm. But a little trick from a chef, right? Okay. You, get a, you get a roasting fork and you just twist it like oh, that. Yeah. Okay, keep That's it your serving. firm on the bottom. Uh -huh. And then when you pick it up, just like this, right? Another couple of twists. Mm -hmm. Then you bring it over to your plate. Oh, that's right? good. That's a good idea. And then chance. you just really? push it down. Spaghetti mountain. And you get like a little <laughs> right. spaghetti twist. Or, there you go. That's how you just what? serve yourself. <laughs> just right like straight out of the pan. Straight out of the pan. That's fantastic. Very good. And, and that's it. That looks chef. terrific. Pesto glazed chicken breast in 20. Thanks so much, my friend. Always good to see you. For the recipe, head to today.com slash food.